Janet Lee was involved in a car crash in 2008. From the outside, there was little sign something was wrong with her, but inside, she'd suffered a traumatic brain injury. It affected my memory, my concentration, my organisational skills, um, which, which still aren't right. But I've, I have recovered quite a bit, but I became very isolated after the crash. Um, I can remember going out to catch a bus and not even remembering where the bus stop was and going back in the house and not leaving the house for some time after that. I became very anxious about going outside because of the confusion, that type of thing. Janet has joined the new headway group in Kelso. She already has more confidence and is even helping run things. The charity is offering a wide variety of services to sufferers and their carers. It's estimated more than 500 people in the borders suffered a brain injury last year, caused by anything from illness to accidents. The effects differ hugely, everything from mobility problems to personality changes and memory loss. And within the support group, um, you know, we cover a lot of, of different things. We, we have activities and um, we help people uh, relearn skills um, like social skills. We um, do training as well for professionals and also for people with brain injury and, um, you know, families, carers, that sort of thing as well. In a largely rural area like this, it can be hard to access some services. The official launch was all about letting people know what is available to them. The group are meeting in the town's community centre every second Thursday. Their message, there is life after brain injury, as well as help and support. Hannah McNulty, ITV News, Kelso.